Watch you guys, in this video we're going to be cloning a Windows 8 operating system or Windows 8.1 in this case onto a brand new hard drive. Okay, now we're going to be cloning this laptop onto a brand new two and a half inch hard drive and we're going to be using Macroom Reflect. Now people saying you can't do that but you can as long as you're using the right updated software that supports GPT. Now you can even clone a two and a half inch to a three and a half inch drive just like I'm showing you here. Now we're going to be using a hard drive docking station. These are pretty cheap enough to buy on eBay. And what this allows you to do is plug this into your laptop or desktop and you can clone straight to that device. So we're going to be putting our drive in here like so. Now this is not the only way to clone drives. It's just one way. So we're going to be cloning our laptop straight onto this brand new drive here like so. Now if you didn't have a bootable drive you could also take the drive out and use this on a brand new computer and do uh, drive to drive like I'm showing you here if you wanted to or two and a half inch to two and a half inch like so or two and a half inch to three and a half inch if you plugged it into a working computer. But we're just going to be cloning the actual present drive on this laptop into our brand new drive like so. So we're going to be using Macro Reflect so let's get that started and I'll show you how to do it. Okay so now we're on our Windows 8.1 operating system on our laptop. We're going to open up our website here and you can get the Macro Reflect uh, free software download here. The important part about this software is GPT support. Now if you're going to be using other software you need to make sure that it does support that. Okay, I'm going to download the free version here. Now people are saying that you can't use uh, any software to clone Windows 8. The reason why is because they're using old software or something of that nature. As you can see here with this free version, it does support uh, GPT. Okay, And that's very important because that's what Windows 8 runs on. And you can see here it supports that for the free version. Also it allows you to do disk cloning on the free version. That's very important also. So let's open up our software. Just fire this up and it's going to start analyzing all the disks on the operating system and also on that dock there that we've got our little uh, two and a half inch drive on. Now straight away it's going to ask you to create a rescue media CD or whatever you want to create a USB. I would advise you to do this part but I'm not going to in this video because of the time uh, element but you should do that. GPT disk one is our Windows 8 operating system. And as you can see, it's highlighted there and you need to look at the MBR disk free, which is our docking station drive as well. Click on the clone this disk and you want to make sure all the ticks are highlighted for your GPT disk one, which is going to be your laptop drive. OK, make sure you get the right drive, select all the drive um, partitions there. Now we're going to select the destination. And this is going to be our docking station. You can see here MBR disk free. Now don't worry about these partitions. We're going to delete these. You just click on them and then just click on delete existing partition. We don't need these partitions because they're going to be written over anyway. So we're just going to delete all of these. Since we delete all of these like so just select them and delete them. Straight away you'll see GPT disk free now and this is what's going to be copied onto there okay. Once you've done that we're pretty much uh, ready to click on the next tab here and this will copy all the partitions all the selected partitions to our new drive. There you can see operation one of seven. Once we've done that, we can click on the advanced options here and have a look at that if you wish. There is a verify uh, file system afterwards. This will verify to make sure everything's gone OK. I'd advise you to leave that tick to make sure everything's verified. I'm going to remove it just for the speeding up process of this tutorial, but you should leave that. You can leave the perform uh, intelligent uh, sector copy. That's fine. And then click on the finish tab. Okay, so that should be the cloning process complete. All we need to do now is click on closed. 
This will now analyse the discs again once the job is finished. And once this is done, you should now see an exact clone of the other drive. So as you can see here, an exact identical clone of the original drive, which is on the laptop, is now on our hard drive docking station. Now we can actually remove this and now put this back into our laptop if we wished and it should fire up okay so why don't we do that in the next part of the video what I'll do is I'll take the old drive out and put the other drive in so you can see it all working in action okay so let's do that right now okay so now we want to remove our drive from our laptop and I'll just show you you just have to unscrew these screws in the back here on this particular laptop it's just two screws to remove the panel and once you've removed the panel you should be able to release the drive from its bay there and then we can just replace the drive on the one we've just cloned so we'll just take this little panel off like so and then all we need to do here is unscrew some screws and slot out the actual drive itself now they normally slot backwards like so and then you can just remove this drive from here now we need to remove the drive from its little caddy here so we're just going to remove these four little screws here just unscrew these one screwdriver should do the job just fine and then you can remove your drive all you need to do now is get your cloned drive and stick that straight into this slot and then screw that back up once you've got that screwed back up you can just slot that back into your laptop and then push that down and screw it into place. Once you've done that, you can just put your panel back on and then screw that down. And you should be pretty much good to go. Now it may take a bit of time to boot up, so let's just power this up. So we need to do now is just be patient and let that do its thing and it will eventually boot up okay now the most important part here no matter what software you're using you need to make sure it's all the latest uh, software out there okay that supports gpt and also supports windows 8 otherwise you're going to have a hell of a job trying to clone your windows 8 drive and that's why people are having so many issues get the latest types of software that supports all that and you'll be problem free okay so as you can see here it's booting up just fine and you should be back up and running in no time okay now if you've upgraded your drive or your drives failed then this is how you can uh, salvage all your stuff that's our brand new two and a half inch drive swapped out into this laptop okay so i hope this one answers all your questions and it helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit the like button guys also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, okay? So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.